McLean Stevenson was an actor best known for his role as Lieutenant Colonel Henry Blake on the television series MASH. He brought warmth and humor to his characters, making him a beloved figure on screen. Now we're curious to hear from you. Is there a particular moment from McLean Stevenson's performances that has stayed with you? Maybe you have a story about how his work has touched your life or a memory that makes you smile whenever you think of this classic star. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments. Stay tuned as we have many surprising and touching facts about McLean Stevenson to share with you. Your stories are what make remembering actors like Stevenson so special. McLean Stevenson was a notable actor best known for his role as Lieutenant Colonel Henry Blake on the television series MASH. This character, loved for its warmth and humor, left a lasting impression on audiences. Stevenson's departure from the show was a significant moment in television history marked by his character's unexpected death, which was a rare move for a sitcom at the time. His performance brought levity to a show set against the backdrop of war, and his ability to balance comedy with moments of sincerity made his work stand out. Stevenson's contribution to MASH and his other roles in television have secured his place in the history of American entertainment. In the world of sitcoms, not all shows enjoy success, and this was evident with the show Hello, Larry. Despite the network's support, it quickly became the target of jokes, especially by Johnny Carson, who didn't hold back in his monologues. The lead actor's potential to take over Carson's late-night spot may have added fuel to the fire, given Carson's known competitive streak. Drawing from his roots, the actor brought a personal touch to his role as Lieutenant Colonel Henry Blake on MASH, sharing his real-life hometown with his character. This move mirrored another actor's decision to align his character's origin with his own, creating a unique connection between the actors and their roles. The departure of Lieutenant Colonel Blake from MASH marked a bold and somber moment in television history. The unexpected nature of his exit left audiences and critics divided, sparking discussions about the stark realities of war, a theme that the show did not shy away from addressing through its narrative. In the world of television, changes in the cast are common, but they can leave a lasting impact on both the show and the actors involved. The departure of Gary Berghoff from the series after the fifth episode of the eighth season is one such example. Despite his exit, his name continued to appear in the opening credits for six more episodes, reflecting the significance of his role. Concerns about the future prospects for actors post-series were highlighted when Mike Farrell attempted to persuade Berghoff to stay, referencing the careers of McLean Stevenson and Larry Linville after their time on the show. The character Hawkeye faced disciplinary action for assaulting an officer in two episodes, which influenced Stevenson and Wayne Rogers' decision to leave the series, with Abyssinia Henry marking their final appearance. The legacy of the original cast members and their replacements is marked by a series of passings, with Stevenson being the first of the original members to pass away in 1996, followed by Linville in 2000 and Rogers in 2015. Among the replacement actors, Harry Morgan was the first to pass away in 2011, followed by David Ogden Stiers in 2017. This pattern suggests that Mike Farrell will be the third replacement actor to pass away in due course. The transitions within the cast not only affected the narrative of the show, but also the lives of the actors involved. In the world of television, roles can define an actor's career. This was the case for an actor who first tried out for a sharp-witted surgeon role, but ended up as the beloved commanding officer of a mobile army surgical hospital. His portrayal left a lasting impression, even leading to a humorous TV appearance where he reassured fans of his well-being after a dramatic series exit. When he left the show, the producers had the task of finding someone new to fill the void. They sought an actor who could bring warmth and guidance to the ensemble eventually casting a seasoned performer known for his fatherly roles. This new character quickly became a central figure, remaining until the show's conclusion. In the world of television, unexpected turns can leave a lasting impression. Such was the case when a beloved character's departure was met with humor the following night on a different show, providing a light-hearted twist to a dramatic exit. Behind the scenes, the actor faced challenges that led to his decision to leave, resulting in a narrative shift that would become a memorable moment in television history. His initial audition for a different role showed the flexibility and potential for different paths, yet the one he embarked on left an indelible mark on the series and its audience. Before his time on television, he served a brief stint at Notre Dame, contributing to the athletic department. His role as Lieutenant Colonel Henry Blake on the television series MASH brought him into the limelight, and even after his departure, along with other original cast members, their characters remained a part of the show's fabric, mentioned all the way to its conclusion. 
Off screen, his bond with co-star Larry Linville extended beyond their work, sharing a friendship that lasted even after their time on the series had ended. Linville once shared in an interview that Stevenson felt he had left the show prematurely. In a twist of fate, the actor who brought to life the beloved character of Colonel Henry Blake on television passed away just a day before his movie counterpart. His commitment to the craft of acting extended beyond the screen. He was known for his dedication to speaking to young people about the profession. The shocking departure of his character from the television series in a tragic accident led to an overwhelming response from fans. This reaction was so profound that it influenced the show's future creative decisions, ensuring that no other character would meet a similar fate if an actor decided to leave the series. In the world of television, a unique term emerged from a notable departure. McLeaning describes the exit of a character from a show due to the actor's decision to move on. This term was born when a beloved character, the leader of the medical unit in a popular war comedy series, met an unexpected end as the actor chose to pursue other opportunities. The actor's departure left a significant mark on the show and its viewers. This actor, known for his role as the affable commander of the medical unit, passed away from a heart attack in 1996. In a striking coincidence, the actor who portrayed the same character in the film adaptation passed away just one day later. To avoid confusion between the two obituaries, the latter's family delayed the announcement of his passing. Away from the screen, the actor was a family man, fathering a son and two daughters. His son followed in his footsteps into the entertainment industry, while his daughters have kept a lower profile. The actor's life, both on and off the screen, left a lasting impression on his family, colleagues, and fans alike. Hailing from a family with a notable political background, he was the great-grandson of William Stevenson, with close ties to former Vice President Adlai E. Stevenson. His early career saw him participating in popular game shows, showcasing his quick wit on CBS's Password in the 1960s. His charm and humor were not just limited to game shows, he brought these traits to the beloved character of Lieutenant Colonel Henry Blake on the television series MASH, sharing a unique connection with his character through their shared hometown of Bloomington Normal, Illinois. This link was a rare occurrence in the show, shared only by one other cast member, Jamie Farr.